Right, as you know, in a few weeks' time, you will all be taking your lower Cambridge. So tonight, I thought I'd give you an oral examination. You are wanting to look at our tooths? <laughs> no, no, I mean that I'm going to go around the class and ask you all to give me some answers and hope that I get some correct ones. We are having a quiz. Yes, sort of. Like Mr. Mind. <laughs> Master Mind. Yes, please. <laughs> Yes, actually, that's not a bad idea, Ali. Let's uh, make it competitive. We'll have a knockout competition. You mean like at a big punch-up? No, no, no. <laughs> Only verbally. I'll go around the class, and whoever fails to answer a question correctly drops out, all right? Now, where shall we start? Uh, yes, Jamila, I'll give you an easy one to start with. Um, what is the plural of goose? Goose. Yes. One goose, two... Gooses? She's knocked out. <laughs> you know, the plural of goose is geese. Oh, ha, geese. Hmm. Uh, we won't count that. Let's have another one. Uh, let me see. Uh, what, what is the opposite of good? Not good. <laughs> no, well, I would have preferred to have said bad, but we'll, we'll accept that. All right. Uh, Giovanni, what is an epistle? That's easy. An epistle is the wife of an apostle. <laughs> That's you, huh? I'm wrong. Yes, an epistle is a letter. Oh. Max, give me another word for forward. McDonald. McDonald. <laughs> yeah, he plays forward for Arsenal. I don't mean that kind of forward. Another word for, for, for moving forward. Ah. Advance? Advance, yes, good. Well done. Anna, uh, another word for debunk. Debed. <laughs> no, no, it means to ridicule. Ali, correct the following sentence. Last night, I am going to the cinema. Last night, I am not going to the cinema. <laughs> wrong? It is not wrong. Because last night, I am not going anywhere at all. <laughs> you should have said last night, I went to the cinema. But I'm telling you, I didn't went. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you did or didn't. You're out. Uh, Ranjit, complete the following proverb. A bird in the hand... Makes mess on your wrist. <laughs> hand is worth two in the bush. You're out. Right, Danielle, explain the meaning of the word illiterate. That is someone whose parents are not married. <laughs> oh, Danielle, that's illegitimate. Sorry. Juan. Yes, senor. Give me the opposite of the following words. Ready? Not ready. Yeah, I hadn't started. <laughs> Juan. I, I lost. That's enough. Uh, that's not enough. Stop. Uh, go. Sit down. Stand up. Oh, somebody stop him, please. Silencio. Hey, I do good, eh? Yeah, it's good. Yo soy un talento. Taro. Paso. With the following tenses of the verb to move. Past perfect, the present perfect, the past continuous. <laughs> well, say something, Taro. I'm out. <laughs> Who have we got left in? Yeah, well, let's see how many of you can survive another round. Camilla, can you count up to ten? Indeed. Count up to ten. One, two, three. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, in English. One, two, four, three, six. Four. Oh. Sorry, Jamila. Max. Give me another word uh, and explain to me what, uh, what is the meaning of syntax. Is it a tax you pay when you go to the church? <laughs> no, it means sentence construction. Surely, spell democracy. C-H-I-N-A. I suppose if I'd asked you to spell dictatorship, you'd have spelled out England. Or America. <laughs> Well, one, that leaves only you. If you can answer the next question correctly, you will be the brain of the class, which doesn't say an awful lot for the rest of you. Por favor. <laughs> Here is your question. What is another name for a valley between two mountains? Valley between two mountains. See, si, yes. Uh, pass. Right. <laughs> I am the big talent.
blame the big brain. Yeah, it goes with your big head. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't stop, please. Thank you.